one question was, uh, what is the most important problem in the country today, and how would you go about fixing it? Well, I would argue that immigration longer term is that and, and public education. Um, I think the president really deserves a lot of credit, he and his education secretary, Arne Duncan, to try to do something about public education, although you can see Congress trying to water it down. When you have a program that distributes monies based on states or localities doing things, there's an awful lot of states and localities that don't want to do those things, but they want their share of the money, and the way Congress works is whether it's homeland security money or education funds or agriculture or anything else, everybody gets something. That's the ways they put together a coalition to pass the laws. And so New York City may be the biggest target every time you catch a terrorist. They've got a map of New York City and not of a cornfield in Nebraska. But let me tell you, Nebraska gets its share of homeland security monies just like everybody else. Uh, we are unwilling to really focus on education. We are unwilling to really focus on immigration. What I would do is, first, I tried to get the president to do this so far and successfully. I would say, go to Congress and say, the one immigration thing I want to do right now is we'll pass a law that will let anybody come to this country if they're willing to start a small business and employ 10 Americans. And as long as you keep employing 10 or more Americans, you can keep your green card. That would go towards two things that people want. One, bringing diversity to the business community, and two, getting jobs for people. And Congress probably would listen to that uh, because they are concerned about jobs. They get beaten up for not enough jobs all the time. That would probably work. I think anything else in immigration, certainly nothing till after November, and I'm skeptical that after that this country has the courage to go and to uh, pass comprehensive immigration reform. We are desperate for the doctors and lawyers and dentists and scientists and educators that we need to improve our country to create the jobs. And yet, um, I think the, 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 the reality is uh, everybody's talking about something different with education reform uh, because where I say we should bring in those people we need for, whether it's for agriculture or for science or whatever, uh, there's an awful lot of people that view uh, education, immigration reform as bringing in their relatives. And if we ever did get immigration reform, um, I think that we probably would not allocate very many people for those, uh, very many visas for those that we actually need. It is a very big problem.